Welcome back everyone, it's Nick here. And next up in our run through the Pinball Arcade of Season 2, it's um, Whirlwind, published by Farsight Studios in 2013. Also of course come along with the Table Pack Champion Pub, which we reviewed uh, last week, and was a part of Table Pack 15. Based on the real life table by Williams in 1990, come with the slogan, Feel the Power of the Wind. Well, it sounds like my indigestion problem. So let's look at the playfield. Um, this real life table sold 7,300 units. Quite an interesting table, this one, quite unique. It has three spinning uh, discs on it, which have some sort of magnet underneath, I think. So when the storm comes by activating the table in a certain way, the ball moves in a very odd, peculiar way, and it's hard to keep it in play. Um, also as well, the real life table on the top of the back glass had a fan which activated when there was a storm which blew air towards you which is quite a, a nice touch. Now the goal of this table is to get super seller awards by knocking it down that hole on the left that you might be able to see and activate a multiple and the million point shot. There's also a regular multiple as well by hitting the ball up, oh, ball drain already, by hitting the ball up a ramp on the top right which hopefully we'll uh, get. Uh, get two of those and then hit the activate light uh, on one of the storm target and it should give you multiple that way as well. Right, lock is lit. The storm is coming. Now the discs have started to spin there. They're activated by hitting certain targets. And you see, this isn't uh, an error in the coding. The ball moves weirdly over those discs, which you've got to keep your wits about you in this one. But it's all about whirlwinds and wind and weather in general. Hooray! Oh, almost got it there. Oops, who's that online? Hello, you. Right, so that's one ball locked up that right ramp. So from 1990, uh, quite a basic table this, but they were to advance considerably throughout the 90s. Oh, oh dearie me, and I've lost one again. So we're already having more than one go at this, I can tell you. Feel the power of the wind. Mm, I always find lying on my side helps. Available as a DLC, so if you've got the Pinball Arcade already downloaded, oh, this is on the PlayStation 3, but can get it on the PS4, iOS, I think Xbox, and also uh, Steam for PCs also. It's well treated. It's another one of those tables I've never seen in real life. I'd love to see how the fan works. I could wash my hair in the morning and use that as a maybe a hairdryer. Let's see if we can activate the... Um, Oh, got through the spinner there, activate the multi-ball. You see on the top right there, flashing on the back glass just about. Is a light I need to hit next. But, um, yeah, ball two. So two flippers down the bottom. You'll see a flipper on the right there, upper side. Use that to get certain points or even knock it down the cellar. Oops. Yeah, I... I can lose the ball real quick here, so through the spinner, let's get a few uh, bumper points here. There's not much to it really, whirlwind, as I said, the super seller awards which rotate round and the multiple and the million shot and that's about it. I can't think of any other tables that have spinning discs, if you can think of any then by all means, um, whoa, by all means comment below. There are a lot that use the uh, magnet function to either hold the ball but not, I don't think, that can deviate the ball this much. Right, there we go. Return to your home. Right, it's over now. Umbrellas on standby. The discs still spinning around like Billy O, not Billy Ocean. Whoa, whoa. Right, let's try and make this go last some sort of distance. Not my favourite table in season two, it has to be said, but it's okay. Gives me a nice retro feel. So the juncture point between the 80s and the 90s. Music is quite minimal. Whoops. Come on, let's try and activate at least one multiple here. That's when stuff gets pretty exciting on all pinball tables. Concentrate. Right, ball three. The storm is coming. It's good to get an alert. Put up your flood barriers. Hmm. There's not many rain effects on this. It's all about wind. Oh. Nowadays, all uh, hurricanes and winds seem to have a name. At the time of recording, we got some wind coming in called Frank. Yeah, that sounds pretty scary, doesn't it? 
2.1 million. Hmm. Let's uh, let's have another go. Oh, Whoa, looks like rain. Looks like rain. Well, it might be. Are you a weather person? Boom. Number of different angles you can have on this, but I do seem to favour this sort of view. Occasionally I hit the wrong uh, button when I'm going for the flippers and uh, the angle might change. That's not through any tactical thing, it's me being an idiot. Oh, I keep missing it. I tried to, There you go. That, there it happened again. Let's cycle around. Right, I'm trying to get that, that ramp on the right, which I got before for multiple. Oh, come on. Oh, hideous ball drain. I probably should have nudged it at a certain point. But once you get used to the nuances of the table, you can see what causes the ball, what rebounds cause the ball to go in that drain and nudge it early so it puts it on a different route. There we go. There's a ball locked. One ball locked. Come on, let's do this thing. Whoops, missed it again. Come on. It was a snooker player called Jimmy White. He was known as the whirlwind. Got to the final up team times and never won. What a travesty. And also Hurricane Higgins talking about snooker. I don't know why I'm talking about snooker. It's because of course we're in a, a in a bar there playing pinball. Sometimes in a bar you might find a, a pool table. It'd have to be a pretty posh pub or bar that's got a snooker table on, I'd have to say. Right, I've changed my aim of this review. I just want to get the multi-ball activated. Let's hit that thing, but we're on ball three already, are we? That's not clever. Oh, blooming magnet. Whoa, it's sipping around like a poltergeist has got hold of it. Is there a poltergeist table to go with the film? God, can you imagine an insidious table? Well, he scared me to death, that one. Or saw, even. I'd hate to know what the missions are on the pinball saw table. If you know of any ideas for missions on the pinball saw table, I don't think they can exist, but please comment below. But by Gemini, we're not going to do them. Okay. It's getting a bit windy around here, or a bit blowy. Ooh. It's very hard to miss the weather reports on TV um, at the moment. For some reason you have to have three weather people all in a row from different regions all giving the same sort of um, rule cast. Why? I don't know. It keeps them all in the job I suppose. Otherwise we'd just have weather girls walking around the streets, and weather men of course. Just pointing at clouds and stuff, saying stuff everyone knows. I'm not doing very well with that mid flipper up the top there. Could use that a bit more. It's all about timing. Maybe this angle, you can't see it very well on this angle. So, oh, there we go. A, a polite nudge rather than anything false all there. Come on, I want multi ball. Oh, seller. Gives me nothing. There we go. Right, so the multi ball should be lit now. Multi ball lit, right. Let's hit that light and I think we'll be in business. I've got it, have I? I think it's launched it. There we go, I see one up the top there. Right, we've got multiple. Hooray! So, by my own loan standards, this is a success. Right, let's just say, let's keep it as long as possible. We've lost one. Let's keep the last two in as long as possible. Come on. Let's keep these in. There is an extra ball on this, I think, but I'm not sure how many points you've got to score. It's this replay there, perhaps I've activated it. The replay in the dot matrix thing at the top. Quite a basic dot matrix, this one. Uh, later pinball tables were to have all sorts of animations going on. On a slight LED thing. Wow, ben for the cellar! Ben for the cellar! Some of the sounds on this sound a bit like um, Dr. Dude and his visible ray. Or fantastic ray, I should say. Good old Williams. Right, I think that's my last ball, but I think I've got an extra ball out of all that. I thought I saw a replay. Call me a nincompoop. There we go, shoot again. Call me a nincompoop if I'm wrong. Just don't call me a nincompoop anyway. Nincompoop. A bit rude. Right, nudge, nudge, nudge. Sell up. I got a super door score. What the hell's that? That reminds me of the door score on the Twilight Zone table, which I also reviewed a long time ago. It's a great sound effect on that Twilight Zone table. Oh, return to your homes, the storm's coming. Right, that's one ball locked, is it? It's over. It's one of those quick storms that only lasted 12 seconds. 
But thanks for the announcement, weather alert man. Right, let's hit all these storm targets. There's not much the playfield to play with if you keep missing stuff. Especially when the spinners are spinning around, but they seem to be quiet at the moment. There's no storm in track. Oh. Damn it. What was that? Million Oh right, the million score point is lit. Let's hit it. That's not it. A million points will be handy right now. I think that's it on the right, is it? Ooh, that was close. There's an arrow on the right flashing, that must be it. Come on, I want it. And the ball has drained right at the wrong time. I think that might be it, you know. Unless I've got another extra ball I don't know about, which I don't think I have. Shoot again! Oh, I have. Now, that must have happened in that crazy multi-ball thing. Now, when that happens, it's quite easy to lose track of everything that's lit up, but you can actually get lots and lots of stuff activated when that happens. That's on many tables. I don't think the million point shot carried forward, which is a bit of a shame. Million points would have been great. The storm is but this isn't too bad a go, to be honest, this one. Much better than my performance on Centaur. We got multi ball lit up again. Last time we lit we activated straight from the launch. But we might have done it again already, have we? Super skill shot. No, we need the multi ball here. One of those targets in the middle, I think. Near the poppers, that must be it. It's not it. Oh, oh gosh, you and your words, bruh. Well, I can't argue, that was quite a go for me. Playfield looks average, blues and yellows, nice lights. Let's put in my initials here so it's remembered for all time. Or maybe just this, the length of this video, perhaps. N, N and N again. Come on. Boom. Where's that put me on the score chart? I'm not going to get a free play. 8.4. 8 I hope you liked having a look at that one. Thanks for watching as always. That was a Whirlwind on the Pinball Arcade by Farsight in 2013. Uh, a reproduction from the Williams Real Life Table in 1990. Until next time, take care and goodbye. Goodbye.